Hey, everybody. Welcome to Noir Bar. Come on in and uh, grab a seat and put your drink orders in. I'm way ahead of you already. Drinking, that is. Uh, so, what comes next? Ah, oh, yes! Say hello to the ladies who are joining me at the bar. Far, as always. How you doing, Gertie? I fucking hate you. And the fact that you even brought that up just before we fucking started. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, look, Far is a little mad. I doxed her on Cocktail no, Hour over on no. Weebo's channel. I let everyone no, know. No, you gave me a fake name. What the fuck? <laughs> Far likes to pretend that her name of Prudence Gertrude, I won't dox her last that name. That is not my, my name at all. What the fuck? See, Australians hail from English stock, right? And they've got some old school names and as a family tradition. Oh my God. Her mother decided to keep Prudence Gertrude going. Far's not very I... proud of it, but it's true. They don't what know your last name. It's fine. Again? It's a large like, continent. When we first met, of like, I'm going to find where you, where you work and leave like an otter on your desk. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know that it was Purdy that did it. it... Oh fuck off! Oh. And joining us for the first time at Noir Bar is Becca. Becca, how you doing? Doing pretty good. Yeah. Life is good right now. Is it really? I'm... Not really. I uh... mean, I'm still so sick and. <laughs> My daughter's graduating. My youngest turned 13. Life is hell right now. I'm old. Mm. You know. I, I'm here. You're, you're, you're feeling old before time. your time because your daughters are uh, aging? Well, okay. So my oldest is going to be 20 next month. And then the second oldest is graduating. And that's just hitting me harder than when the boy graduated. And then the youngest turning 13 and officially a teenager, that it just all hit me at once. But yeah, I'm feeling old. I'll be 40 this year, which is weird. Uh, yeah, I guess. It's, uh, yeah, it's, just, <laughs> it's 40's the new 30. I, I heard that somewhere this week. I'm going to make that a real thing then, because I don't want to be 40 yet. No. I, well. Oh, look, shit. Before we shit. Uh, from an hour ago. God, did I set the stream to go live an hour ago? Fuck, it takes me a while to get the bar ready. Anyway, uh, box shot Santo. Thank you for the three fifty. Uh, let's just redo that uh, pop up because it. Oh shit! Forgot to turn the cat smacks off. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot leave them on. Leave them on. Leave on the AAA donations. Yeah. Um. I see no problems here. I'll bet even money that not one of these jokers even knows how to start a fire without a lighter and gasoline. Uh, no, I was a Boy Scout. I know how to. I literally was, too. I know how to do it with kindling. and I can do it with sticks. I can do it with lint. I, can, uh, I know how to make the uh, bowstring to uh, do the friction fire with a notch in the wood. Well, what? You live in the outback. What? You don't know how to start a fire? Yeah, you just wait. <laughs> Two fucking Shay. Well done. Well done. Good job. Oh my gosh. Oh, good lord. Okay, let's just see who's all in chat. Uh Zombie Teddy was the first to be here. What's up, Zombie? And Mike Savage, of course. Talik and a ball potato. What's up, ball potato? Gilcato's here because he's awesome. And then somebody named Becca Furlay? Okay, whatever. Um, Rogue Red, what's up? <laughs> I, <laughs> Shio's here. What's up, Shio? Mr. Moo's here. Awesome. And scrolling, scrolling. Am I missing people? Oh, my God. Pop-Tart's here. Well, now we're going to have some fun. And TOS is here. Zach Osborne, of course, again. And, oh, Ebony Williams. Hey, what's up, Ebony? And Jeff McClure says, Polly, this is why you won't get a seat on AAA. Too late. I already did. You're way out of date. <laughs> uh, oh, and this is Kyle's here. Oh, you hey. won't get a well, you won't get a pillow with, with arms. I yeah. I never will get a seat. I'll always, see, Drunkle seems to think maybe it's just like per individual perspective, but it looks to me like I'm floating midair, but from him, his perspective, it looks like I'm sitting on the stone in front of the fire. I think it looks like I'm I'm levitating. Yeah, are, are you mildly psychic, Polly? No, I'm not. You're like <laughs> hovering. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. no. Oh, Manic's here. Hey, what's up, Manic? And Dark Resurrect. And oh God, everyone's showing up. Sweet. Glad to see it. And Michael Hatfield. 
So yeah, we got a show of uh, 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 late night randomness. Like, holy shit, none Sweet. of these. Yeah, like I mean, more so than normal. <laughs> so just go full ADHD with it. It's fine. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a little bit all over the place. Uh, oh, Pete's not here. Shh, be quiet. It's Pete. Oh. oh <laughs> this is where the fun stops. <laughs> Thank you, Manic, for the eighteen dollars with no comment. Because Australians are awesome and don't need to leave comments. That's what I've come to understand. She's just waiting for the fire to start. That's why she doesn't leave the comment. <laughs> okay. No? So Nothing? what? No, right. I was inhaling on my vape. <laughs> what? What? All right. Uh, I got two life straws today. Like, two life, two life straws? Like, so you can drink out of scummy pools? Freedom. Life straws? Freedom. Thank you, Vault Potato, for the dollar. Uh, I think that the first donation was meant to be for Monkey and about those Black Hammer people making their Jonestown up in the mountains, since the exact same donation was made on Monkey in the Morning. Oh. Okay. Whoops. Weird. Yeah, that's odd. Well, uh, no refunds, hey, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you like turns bread? Ooh, well, gee, I don't know. I guess. Boom! You, you gotta, gotta be, be positive. positive. <laughs> Ebony Williams, thank you for the $10. If you know how to make a fire, then you should be able to help out the Black Hammer folks then. They're gonna need it. Are they up there without <laughs> knowing how to make it? You know, we've got a story related to that. A, yeah, what, a I have no idea camping. what the hell is happening with that. Yeah, like, I'd have to. This is my first time, the first time I'm hearing about this. Like, yeah. So. I can see you, Johnny Blaze. What are you lying? Your uncle wishes that he had arms and legs and just a Welsh floating, and not just a Welsh floating head. Yeah, well, he seems to be okay with it. I asked him if he really wanted me to put feet under his head, and he said, no, don't do that. I want to be just a head. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I... Make him look like a potato head? He's okay with that. Mr. Drunklehead. Dark Resurrect. <laughs> uh, Polly, a Russian paper called that place oh, Jonestown 2.0 Racism Edition. What are a bunch of like uh, um, separatist militia folks up there in the Black Mountain? Black Hammer trying to start a... Or are these a bunch of black this, folks up there trying to start a separatist militia? Is this Jonestown 2 Electric Boogaloo? Transtown. Jonestown. Oh, I thought you said, uh, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? All right. All I don't right. know the fucking um, story. I've been out of touch most of the day. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know what's I, going I, on with that either. I don't know. We can make up our own story off of it, though. I can see a whole bunch of uh, black militia folks going up there and just being like, yeah, we're oh, going to separate and do our own thing yeah. and have it be a complete failure like every communist commune ever. Right. I, yeah. I can't wait for the articles to come out where they start cannibalizing each other. So. <laughs> well, I... they, they don't even try the Kool-Aid. <laughs> right? What, what, what was the <laughs> cult straight thing? Straight to cannibalism. Or what was the documentary we were watching on YouTube not too long ago? Was it like a month or two ago? About the... Okay, so religious cult, it was up in, in, in Canada, just on the Canadian side of the border that they oh, moved out to the forest fuck. and started their own little... Group is and that the one where like the woman had the amputated arm? Yes. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah, and I know exactly what you're talking about, but like I don't remember the name of that. They they have always that was fucked though. Uh, Ebony Williams says it's like that, Polly. Yeah. Well, that fuck. It, it sucks that I was able to guess that. Anyway, I. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. But remember, they had to keep sending people into town to get provisions and stuff. It's like you're not even remotely self sufficient. It, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, they have to keep going. Just out of fact, like, no, we can live off the land, guys. It's fine. But no. Yeah, I, I have they, to keep going to fucking town. I mean, that's so sad. It's a, you, you are the worst prospectors ever. Like, just do yeah. some, like, do some basic research about the people that moved out west, covered wagons, and all that. Like, what did they bring with them? Well, let's see. They brought tilling equipment and seeds, and you know. Stuff to be self-sufficient. Yeah. Do some research right? before you move. I... You know, general farm equipment. <laughs> like, fuck's sake. 
I, I, I love that the ideology precedes practicality. Do you like Kern's bread? Well, well gee, I don't, I don't know. No, I don't. Boom! You gotta be chunks. positive. Thank you, mailman, for the ten dollars. Uh, first time in the bar, finally. Just finished the AAA. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Seeing the link conveniently <laughs> in chat was well convenient. Cheers to all of you, sir. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, glad to have you here. This is if this is your first time here. I I keep telling Far to stop watching that AAA smut. It's trash. Well, I haven't even watched the one for today. <laughs> Good. But I will later. <laughs> the internet's don't full of worry. trash. Imagine what that makes this don't, show. Don't you worry, Billy. I, I will be watching later, though. It's drunken fermented smut we have over here in Noir Bar. But how did you manage to make that sound even more disgusting than it had to be? Drunken fermented smut? Yeah. <laughs> Just sound, oh god. god that does sound awful now that i'm stopping and thinking what about the it. fuck is wrong with you it, okay so this is the classy bar <laughs> this is, it, it well, we try and make it a classy bar but you know the the types that make it in here i mean it's still a bar you get all types right it's we used to have uh evil one around and he used to throw the drunks out evil one hasn't been around for a while and yeah he's Dealing with personal stuff right now. Is that what's going on? Yeah, he Aww. takes his random breaks from the internet here and there, so he'll be back. Well, well, that's probably good though. You take breaks, right? <laughs> so far, I'm uh, curious. Have you ever heard of this thing that Drunk Saint Sinatra in a like package full of British, typically British goods? All it, right, what is it? Um, a pickle. It's a, it's a chutney spread. A chutney, I think so. I think I've seen that. Never really had it because it's never. I, I don't. I'm not really a fan of chutney. I couldn't even figure out what was going. <laughs> what is Rogue Red talking about? Nicks of them. Remember that cult, the weirdo. Let's brand women sex cult thing. Nicks of his. Oh God. Yeah, the one that had that one actress in it. Isn't it? I yes. The the actress from uh Superman the Younger Smallville? Years. What was it? Smallville. Smallville, yes, thank you. Yeah, it is oh. uh, Yeah, I don't know why he's talking about it, but it is. Yeah, we do uh lots of uh I don't know why we watch so many cult documentaries, actually. I what? don't know why I mean, considering even last night, we were just, like, <laughs> we tried, and then it was just like, yeah, no, let's not do this. Can we just watch commercials instead? Right? <laughs> Random American says Nexium. Is that how you say it? Nexium? I don't well, know. That is I how mean... you say it. They're doing a very fucking terrible job of, of showing that's how you say ah, it. Ah, Gilcato, Branston Pickle. Yes, that is the brand name. Branston Pickle. Branston Pickle. Um, and it was from, the funniest from, cross-cultural conversation, no. man. It's it's not just like, what is this? He goes, it's Branston Pickle. He goes, yeah, okay, that's what it's called, but what is oh, it? Oh, no, I've never seen this. No? He goes, it's a pickle. Not this and he goes, particular. this isn't a pickle. He goes, no, it's pickle. It, it was just, and, and, and the butting of the heads lasted for about two minutes. Uh, or, well, a little bit less than that. But, like, I had to look it up, and I'm like, oh, it's like a spread. It's a tart chutney spread. Of all potato, thank you for the dollar. I've taken to clipping monkey with my new video editor. So just wanting just warning you to watch what you say. I already got a couple of good ones from just a few days ago from Monkey Streaming. Yeah. Nothing new. Yeah, there. hey, welcome to my old pastime. Right. I saw those. Those were fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the ploy junior videos. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there's there's uh, nothing it looks like, like being you taken. You can out of buy Branston pickles. Yeah, well, apparently yeah, Gilcato's okay. heard of them. Is it not a Western Australian yeah. thing? I mean, it probably is, but it's just not looking familiar to me. Like the packaging and the thing and because I guess I don't go looking for pickles because I don't really like pickles. But it's not a pickle, like a, a cucumber floating in brine. Yeah, like I, I see that it's like a spread, but right. still same same thing. Like this doesn't really interest me. Yeah, I was. So I guess I'm not really paying attention to it in a, in a 
You know, when I'm going shopping for shit. I, I don't think I'd like it on a sandwich, but he was talking about dipping fries in it. And I was like, hmm, maybe. Because I do like malt yeah. vinegar on fries. Well, well yeah. Like, vinegar on, on chips. I can understand that. Like, that fish and chips. It's right? a chunky the... spread. It's like relish. Yeah. Yeah, that would be it. Like a, like a tart, chunky relish. Yeah. It's a Brit import, not an Aussie standard. Uh, yeah, that would explain it then. Yeah. Isn't Probably, all of Australia um... British import? <laughs> <laughs> So's America. It was a joke. It's fine. <laughs> we all start somewhere. Yeah, don't, don't, get, don't, shit. Yeah. <laughs> How long until we can just stamp our own? <laughs> <sighs> I, that's a good question. I don't know. But politics are not to debate here. I mean, after all, this is 1942 and we're all allied in a war against the Japanese, the Italians, and the Germans. Right? Yes. Okay. You just, yeah. you, you sounded... And the emus. And the e But, you know, whatever. <laughs> that's the secret war. What, what year was the emu war? Oh, no, it was not even, it was way earlier than 1942. It was like the 1930s, wasn't it? Yeah, like 1930s, I think, <sighs> if I remember correctly. 1932? Yeah, 1930s at some point. And then it seems like at 10 to 5 year intervals, they'd like bring it back in the newspapers like, Hey, remember that time that we fought emus in an actual fucking war? <laughs> and they just start shit posting in all the newspapers. I'm not even kidding about that. They still have our queen as their head of state. Says the opinionated Scotsman. Really? The Scot is going to talk about our queen? Right? <laughs> I, Fucking right? Like, I, you know what? I'm not going to yeah, lie. Okay. When, when I hear the arguments, like, you know, I'll be watching whatever, Sargon or whoever, and I hear the inter-United Kingdom uh, arguments and dislikes i find it disheartening i was unaware of how much scott scotland and england didn't get along and when i hear like like the legitimate contempt it's like oh really Fuck, that's terrible i don't know why it just bothers me yeah it's like it's 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 been a while guys you know william wallace was a while ago it's just maybe it's time to chill out i'm probably oversimplifying but uh yeah. Oh God, sorry. <laughs> Yo, what? I'm just staying After quiet to World see how long War it is before someone says something. Jesus Christ! <laughs> After World War One, the EU war was <laughs> half a dozen blokes. The EMUs never signed a treaty, so it's still on. <laughs> well, I think it's more like. The humans just fucked off and went home, <laughs> and that's what ended it. I don't think there was that's really any treaty to sign. They ran out of ammo, and then they went to the local pub and just said, fuck it at that point. Yeah. Goddamn band. I don't pay them enough to start playing on time. There they go. Bastards. All high on their reefer. Okay. <laughs> Zach Osborne says, you want to hear something funny? The Aussies in Iraq did nothing but put, but put barbecue and have pool parties in Uday's palaces all day long. We hung out with them a lot. Well, they, that's a, they sound that like a fun bunch. That does not surprise me at all. I would hate that to see. kind of fucking lie. You know, Uday and Kuse, <laughs> Saddam's sons, these miserable bastards. I, everything oh, I God. hear about them just... just yeah, no, terrible fucking people. Uh all right, so who wants God. to do some uh, uh, talk about some stories of weird things happening? All right, yeah. What what you got? Yep. Because you know, just in case this is your first time to the show, this is uh, we are just in a bar hanging out. So I'm kind of the bartender. Well, while I'm wasting time, I'm reading through the newspapers, and I'm like, hey guys, look at this weird story. <laughs> it's a late night chill stream. Who's thumping their mic? Who's doing that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. That was me. I'm sorry. God damn it. Uh, let's see. Where shall we start? Oh, here's a fun one. 
Police chief accused of stealing guns from evidence to sell to to sell, North Carolina authorities say. And why don't do I we, just do uh, share the screen so you guys can see it too? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. There That'd you be real go. fucking cool. <laughs> Thanks, Polly. That's <laughs> very anything for you, Far. <laughs> All right. Can you see it, Gertie? Fuck off. Oh. I just check in. I'm going to hit you one of these days. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, let's see. This is 1942. Hitting a woman is just, you know, reminding her of her place at this time. So, you know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Police chiefs accused of stealing guns from evidence to sell, North Carolina authorities say. Let's see what happens. Former police chief of a place in North Carolina has been indicted on 88 felony counts. Well done, my friend. Ooh. All the way. William Anthony Spivey. Yeah. Is accused of destroying evidence, of bezeling state property, trafficking in opium. Where did you even get oh, opium? Shit. Yeah, what? Did you make it yourself? <laughs> or like, what the fuck? <laughs> and obstructing justice, among other offenses. Prosecutors say Spivey stole guns from the department's evidence lockup and sold them to several friends, family members, and acquaintances. I, oh my, you sold them to friends, family members, and acquaintances. Ugh. I wonder how that went down, you know? Like, so where'd you get the guns from? Uh, never you mind. Would you like to buy one? Yeah. Or he, or he was straight <laughs> up and was work. You're right. He got him from work. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I got him from the evidence locker. Do you want one? <laughs> like, holy shit, dude. Let's see. Uh, to date, they, a large amount of them, meaning the firearms, remain unaccounted for. That's great. The State Bureau investigation. Uh, the SBI began looking into the now former chief. Wait a minute. Yeah, police chief. Okay, I missed that part. I've been drinking. It's fine. Jeez, it's, it's mm -hmm. the fucking chief, too. David expressed concern to Chad Bourne's town manager in early March by the community's police department because it had not been sending narcotics to the state crime lab for a long time. Oh. <laughs> it's like, what are they trying to say? Like, <laughs> did they tell the department, like, oh, don't worry about it. We have no issues with drugs here anymore. Don't worry. Right? Yeah, we are a drug-free community here. That's don't worry like, about you it. You guys charge we a lot of people with drug offenses? Drugs. Where are the drugs, though? What drugs? <laughs> right? <laughs> I love it so much. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> Multiple felony drug cases were dismissed as a result. Can you imagine being the guy who got oh, busted with a key of blow? And then you arrive in court thinking you're looking at like 10 years and it's like, nah, we lost yeah. the blow, man. You're free to go. <laughs> How many people got let go just because of that? Oh, shit. It says a number. Oh I, don't, don't say a number. What's the number? I want to yeah. know. Yeah, give me a number. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's Come fucking on. awesome. I, <laughs> and yeah, it happened in North Carolina. Did the DA hmm. step in and say, hey, why are you keep giving me these drug cases without evidence? Because that hurts the DA in the long run, too, when they campaign. They can't yeah, claim they're putting drug dealers behind bars if they have to dismiss all these cases. Maybe the DA was in on it too. Yeah, uh, Michael Hatfield it's, says it's we'll, just... we'll just lump it in with those ghost guns. I, I the ghost guns thing pisses me off so much. It, it it's like how many ghost guns are found at crime scenes? Deep it, news entertainers, do your job. Ask the question. Ask the que You know, I'm going to... The name of them alone scares people. Like, ghost guns. Oh, my gosh. They're so scary. It was like those bullets uh, back in the day. The um, Winchester Talons. I think they were Winchester. Talon was the nickname. It was a certain type of hollow point bullet of a certain design. And then said uh, said word. Senator Edward Kennedy... <laughs> Said wood, you got it right. S said word, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm not drunk, you're drunk. Said wood. What's the problem? <laughs> What's the officer problem? I. He just went, he spearheaded the uh, 
congressional effort to have them prohibited as quote cop killer bullets and as soon as that name stuck it stuck like fucking molasses man forevermore any kind of hollow point bullet was labeled as a cop killer bullet because it could make it through kevlar vests that cops used yeah so could any average hunting bullet which which, right there was nothing particularly special about them like seriously the design to penetrate a vest no they weren't but news entertainers reported on it because you're not going to write up a story that has the phrase cop killer bullet in the headline? Of course you are. And great. I love the fear <sighs> poem. Love it. Mm-hmm. Ghost gun is perfect, right? Phantom guns. All right, look at this. Florida suspect flees police in stolen patrol car, crashes it, and then takes off in another. What? In another... <laughs> Patrol car? Do we have a video? Oh, fuck yeah, we oh. do! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, so... It's just like, what, what's, so, what's... Well, we're watching, we can take, sit there and talk. It's just... So they take the patrol car, then they, they steal another patrol car? That, that, that seems to be the story. Because when cops hop out of their cars, they leave the doors open and the engine running. So. Oh, fuck. Yeah, of course. So, so, so of course, they just jump in. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what? Oh, he tried a pit maneuver. Oh, oh. oh, he missed. Oh, shit. Okay, so I'm gathering uh, this is our stolen police car and this is our uh, yeah. give us our shit back car. Oh, <laughs> oh it just and crashes. Nice. Okay, so here we go. He's okay. off the road. The other cops are getting okay. involved. They're coming along. We're in okay. 1942 watching video from the future, y'all. Good times, good times. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, it's in color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pete says, speaking of uh, bullets, did you see what happened to Kentucky Ballistics? No, I didn't. What happened? Okay, so they're, I, I'm sure they got their guns drawn, and they're like, don't fucking move, and all that shit. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jamie says, GTA, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got the dog out. Here we go. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, which cruiser All right. is stolen? There, there, guess. there it is. The, the the remains of the stolen the cruiser. Crashed. Yeah. That's the first one. Which one's gonna be the second stolen one? Oh, I, it, it. All right. What happened where it blacked out? Did somebody like drop an end bomb or something? They need to cut that out. <laughs> just... Okay. The... okay. That's... Okay. Oh, he's trying to get it out of there. So jump ahead a little bit. Hold on. All right. Oh, oh it's it, it, oh. Hold on. No, no. Okay, we got to go back. That's the shit. There we go. Okay. All right. So they pull him with the police truck. Okay. So things are going along as normal. Okay. Terminator vision. Yeah, exactly. This is oh, what it looks shit. like. So how many? How many cops? We, are I was just about to say we got one, two, three, four, five, four, six, five, seven. Six, seven. At least. I didn't. Yeah. What? What the fuck did this guy do? Uh, there he goes. He's like he's off. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's in a car. I thought the door is wide open. Is. Go, man. There go. He is. <laughs> Oh my Look god. Look at you see this guy trying to open the door. Open it. Let us in. <laughs> they got guns on him and the, he still gets away? Yeah. And he's off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's an upgrade. He went from a car to Holy an SUV. Shit. He upgraded exactly. I love it. <laughs> and oh my god. Florida is something else. Well, they got guns on him, and he still went. Why didn't you start shooting? What do you what, like? If he's gonna drive away, I don't know what their pursuit policies are in Florida. Maybe they've got like, I don't know. <laughs> Why didn't you shoot? I... <laughs> right. Uh. All... Well, how did you see him try to throw the the the, the tire spikes? Yeah. <laughs> and it it apparently didn't work. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> can't get out there in time, I guess. Okay, so, so this, one vehicle goes by, and then this next guy throws the tire yeah, spikes it, and it doesn't work. <laughs> I guess it went right under the car instead of, like, in the tires. Yeah, yeah, they just got I twisted up. into that lane and it just <laughs> went across that first lane? I don't know. Yeah, Rogue Red, my dude has that five-star wanted level <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> oh my. 
God. But what did he actually do, though? But, like, he, it has to be serious if he's, like... He's on... You know, uh, taking, like, two fucking cars out of there. Aerial footage released. The suspect drove off after he responded to a suspicious person report. Oh. Uh, he was oh. being suspicious. <laughs> well, that's a lot. Uh... Helicopter footage shows the second cruiser coming to a stop on a highway median after police disabled it with drop sticks. The suspect was arrested and is awaiting charges. Aw, oh, fucking mitten full of charges, oh. all that. So he did end up getting caught. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, he certainly put up a fight. Yeah, well, like Random American says, you know, he got caught, but he sure as hell got the high score. Damn right. I mean, oh, fuck. <laughs> This guy unlocked all kinds of fucking skins and abilities with that movement. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, a, suspi a suspicious person's report. It could be some dude just walking along the road, kind of looking funny, and some Karen called the cops, and he's like, I'm going to make a day uh, out of this. Right? I'll make imagine it worth like, a while. Just, imagine if it really was just some Karen calling the cops, right? And he's just like, well, I guess I'm already fucked. <laughs> right. He just pulls this shit just to see how far he could get. Yeah, I I guess I'm already I might as well try. Uh, let's just go down. Right? Legend status. A bunch of people are yeah. saying that the uh police SUVs they believe them to be uh pop resistant tires and it's makes you wonder why they even tried. Just to see. Maybe yeah. maybe we bought shitty equipment and it will pop the tires. I don't know. But, yeah, that does have bring up a good him. point. Yeah, you have to hit them a couple of times, I think. Because they, they are pretty resistant. Yeah, I, I gotta yeah. say, Gilcato says he is officially now the most Florida man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's plenty of Florida man stories. People fighting alligators, being crushed by vending machines they attempted to steal from, beating up all three of their wives, all sorts of shit. But this is peak yeah. Florida man, I, I gotta say. Yeah, oh god. Is that like a Florida man award? <laughs> like, that, that's just held at the end of the year? You, don't, you, you are the Florida man of the year. There should be. If there isn't one, there should be. Yeah, Coffee says right? they're probably not used to chasing their own cars. Goddamn right. I absolutely oh, God, agree. Right? Like, that can't happen very often. Just If only because... Fuck, man, where do you get the brass balls from? Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> they, now, if, if they can unlock my vehicle from a distance, or uh, lock the vehicle to trap someone who's stolen it because it's got OnStar or whatever the fuck, why can't they disable their own vehicles they got every other kind really? of fucking tech in there you know how much a fucking police suv costs from all the fucking equipment in there they didn't put a fucking remote engine kill in well i guess well, are again those easily hacked maybe they don't want to because they could be easily hacked and then you have all these citizens disabling <laughs> police cars <laughs> that's but a funny also, idea like how many um <laughs> Like, how often, again, how often does this really happen that someone steals a fucking cop car? They're alone two of them. Yeah, that was, right? that was, that was pretty legend, honestly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck. Thank you, Vol Potato, for uh, putting up all of our links and Becca Furley Streamlabs and uh, bars. Redless, yes, good. Okay, I was yes. just making sure that it was yes. your current, <laughs> your current thing. Good, thank you. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Let's see what should we move on now? Oh, oh, I like this one. This one. Oh, <laughs> Utah woman was found living in a national forest after disappearing for five months ago. She quote just wanted solitude and isolation. I well, she certainly got it. <laughs> I could appreciate moving into a national forest. I don't know why, but this just I think. What's the problem here? I, I just want to get away from it all. So I'm going to grab my tent and, and such and just... I love how she didn't even go to, like, unclaimed land. She just went to, like, a national forest. She's out there in Yosemite or whatever the fuck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Find a little clearing that's all your own, you know? And just uh, yeah, set up shop. I've always wanted to live in the forest. But that's basically just that lady. Uh-huh. A woman was found living in a Utah forest, yes. Uh, a sheriff's office, uh, she wanted all to uh, Found alive. After going missing nearly six months, uh, the unnamed 47-year-old woman was found living in a tent in the Diamond Fork area of Spanish Fork Canyon and told officials she was living off foraged moss and grass. 
Well, she's doing better than <laughs> this black hammer cross. group. The woman was the Holy fuck. first noticed missing on November 25th. When park workers found her car by a nearby campground parking lot. Oh shit, she just parked a car and walked out. Good for her. <laughs> She went in November. It's cold as hell in Utah. Oh, fuck. In November. And it's awful cold. Yeah, I did forget about, like, oh, yeah, that'd be, like, during fucking winter right. for you guys. Like, <laughs> She's in a pop tent living oh off the God. grass and moss. Wow. She did not plan. She did not plan exceedingly well for such a long period during harsh winter months. But she was resourceful. Sergeant Spencer Cannon, the public oh, information God. officer, said clearly. <laughs> I, Pete says her name's not Adrastia, is it? <laughs> no, I don't think she would be uh, anywhere near this resourceful. Yeah. Was she married? That's a good question. Uh, uh, they said the woman yeah. might choose to return to the same area. And they would make resources available to her should she decide to use them. You could just move she into won't. a national park? I guess you can. Sweet. Well, Wait. I know what I'm doing when I get sick of civilization. <laughs> You're just going to move into a national park? Yeah, down the way from old uh, Faithful in Yosemite. Yeah, beautiful area. Yeah, it is. It really is. You know, and just come out every now and then and just, you know, there'll be like people passing by, hikers and such, and say, hey guys, welcome to my neck of the woods. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah. And and Jamie's right. She keeps a clean tent. I mean, for somebody who didn't plan, just like well, park the yeah, car and no walk. Yeah, you're fucking I, kidding. I mean, she's there's no grass or rocks or whatever the fuck inside of her tent. She must have like swept it up daily and uh, crazy. Yeah. And she was smart. And I'm like, she's got the rocks all laid down yeah. so she doesn't get blown away in the wind and everything. I, I'm I'm kind of impressed. Not gonna lie. Yeah, like she. uh she certainly is a uh, made for forest living, I guess. Yeah, and Talik says, in all fairness, at least she knew what was edible. Yeah, it's because yeah. she managed to survive. The whole married angle is interesting. I'm wondering why they didn't release her name. I, she is uh, well, she was looking for uh, solitude and isolation. Maybe they yeah, I guess because it's like, well, she's not dead, so it's not like you're... Like, hey, we found this person here, dead. What the fuck happened here? Like, yeah. if she just wants to be alone, I can see why they just wouldn't name her. Well, I've, we've seen these news entertainers do. They don't respect that. Like most that people. is true. They usually dox them, so. That is true, but maybe they just weren't through the cops for this one. <laughs> right. And the cops are just like, yeah, no, we're not giving you the name. Well, Gokato says I could buy a cabin in the woods. Yeah, but see, I, she didn't have to spend any money. Like, yeah, what? she just drove there and parked and just went, well, fuck it, I live here now. Yeah. This no is... money was spent. I'm okay with that. Man, I... I love this story. I just clicked on it because I saw it on the side. Elon Musk is brought is being brought to save Saturday Night Live sagging ratings. He could also sink the show in other ways. Because, you know, alt-right, he's not woke, blah, blah, all that bullshit. Everyone keeps talking about Elon Musk being on Saturday Night Live. They they are so against it. All of the opinion writers and shit. It's... Guys, yeah, Saturday okay. Night Live is... I know you rely on it because it's a bunch of woke morons doing, air quotes here, comedy that was largely aimed at Trump mm -hmm. for four years straight because that's all you really had going. Yeah, your ratings are fucking terrible because who wants to watch that cringe fest? And so they have Elon Musk coming on because he's crazy like that. Why not? Yeah, I'll go do Saturday Night Live. Freedom. Freedom. Uh, thank you, Zach Osborne, for the dollar. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. You're telling me they found someone living how they wanted to live out in the woods kidnapped this woman, put her in a mental health institution against her will for no reason? The absolute fuck? I... Yeah. I... yeah. Yeah? Well, I mean, I guess they had to, you know, really check that she wasn't, like, completely fucking nuts, because, I mean, to be fair, like... I'm not opposed to a wellness check on somebody that? who's living in a yeah. national park. Like, a, like an actual wellness check, not a... Yeah, exactly. Not a no-knock warrant, but you wouldn't... What would it, you don't knock on a tent, what do you do? 
Uh, Move the zipper up and down a few inches a few times? You, Is that the doorbell? You, you, you mime the action and then you say knock knock. <laughs> You brittle bone fuck. Uh, thank you, Madcap, for the $8. Shh. Don't tell Sin and Drunkle. Uncle Polly, ladies. Have a good night. I have weekend <laughs> duty. So have a drink on me, because I won't be able to for a few days. Also, I hear Freemasons run the country. They do. Secretly, it's true. <laughs> true. And they live out in tents in national forests. Yeah. They're the ones keeping it going. You know what? Mm -hmm. Uh, Streamlabs is really getting on my nerves. They keep popping up all of these. They, you know, you could do a charity stream. Yeah, I, I'm aware. Quit popping up and covering up what people uh, said in there. See, there it goes again. Would you like to run a pay-per-view streaming? No, Lucra. No. Go away. What the fuck? No. Why, why does it keep... But why does it keep giving me these pop-ups on the screen covering... Anyway. You may have to change <laughs> something in your settings. Yeah, like must Like notifications be. or something. Oh, oh just wait. I really want you to do a charity stream. I'm not opposed to charity. Let's do a charity stream for what? What, what would really piss people off? Um, uh, remove people from the national forest. <laughs> to bail out people arrested on January 6th? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, that one would piss people off. Spicy. I'll uh, get fired for that. Let's see. Uh, oh, since we're on a law enforcement kick here, seemingly. Ex-cop found with $570,000 in van after crash with soccer team bus. Uh, <laughs> there is so much about that. <laughs> Look what? at that van. What was he doing? Oh. <gasps> yeah, what the fuck? Look at all that money in, in fucking vacuum seal packs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like vacuum seal bags, fucked up car, uh, soccer team bus, Nebraska. I was going to repeat the cops on a breathalyzer or something, and that's why they searched Oops. his vehicle. Because typically me. they won't search a vehicle just for a crash. No. Like, how they discover that? Maybe like it was, it just flew out of like wherever the hell it was being hidden? Did he, like. Maybe. Is this okay? Hold on, I gotta read because it's like with the Nebraska high school soccer team's bus that he should have been driving. Do you know what I mean? I... Uh, a four officer oh. driving a minivan collided with a Nebraska high school soccer team bus. Yeah, better than that, it was the Lincoln Pius the Tenth Catholic School girls soccer team. Oh, go fuck. Was going to a game when the van and their bus collided on Wednesday, according to the sheriff. Though no student was seriously oh, injured. Okay, so it good. was the crash with the soccer team Great. bus. Okay, so this... Uh, okay, I'm up to date. Now. That's... Holy shit. Yeah, that's drunk. not okay. the bus. Well, investigating the crash, Stewart County deputies discovered $570,000 in cash in the van, which then crashed into the bus. Gotcha. A photo released by a sheriff's office shows several clear bags with neatly wrapped bundles of cash. Oh, Investigators well, suspect it could be drug money. No. Oh. You don't fucking say... Is it opium? Yeah. Where are all these fucking cops getting their opium from? The driver was identified only as 62-year-old man from California and a former law enforcement officer. An investigation is ongoing and no charges have been announced. The soccer team was going and they won three to zero. Oh, they lost. Never mind. Oh. Oh. Uh, they got into a fucking crash and lost. That's That's depressing. Yeah, but they caught a drug dealing cop on the way. Good for them. Right. Well, uh, Kyler says Pius the Tenth is a good go, school. Girls. Okay, I'll take your word on it. I... Yeah. God, that car is so fucked up. Yeah. It really right. is. Well, I mean, can you imagine how much all them soccer players weigh? <laughs> I'm kidding. They're probably all spindly <laughs> little girls. Um, uh, Buckshot, Buckshot Sancho. There, I got it out. English. Thank you for the two fifty. Uh, half Winchester, black talents. The whole incident is what red pilled me about Democrats and politics in general. I was 1920 and just started my gunsmithing apprenticeship. It was all lies. They were Teflon coated hollow points. Uh, yeah. 
They were Teflon. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, well. Let me guess. It was a, a molly coating of some sort, and they believed it to be... How, how could you have an expanding bullet that's Teflon coated to stop it from... Oops. Another one. Oh, I see. Half. It wasn't half Winchester Black Talons. It was one of two. Jesus, man. One of them nights, isn't it? Here's part two of two for two fifty yes. for the total. Thank you for the five dollars. Uh, the Teflon was to help keep the polygon barrels in the new gen at the time Glocks and H and K's cleaner. All the points they could never defeat a vest and never killed a cop. Hashtag fun fact: they still made them, just without the Teflon. Remington's golden saber. Yeah, the shape of the bullets is they, they got these. What ends up? Folding out when it hits a soft target, uh, the pedals, if you will, have like these rounded tops, like the bullet before it compresses has a very particular look to it. Yeah, they still sell those bullets. You can recognize them instantly. They just don't have the uh, molybendium or Teflon coating on them for, as you said, polygonal rifling in certain barrels. Uh, but I didn't know H&K actually had polygonal rifling in barrels too. I thought that was just Glock that did that. Anyway. Yes, anyway. Yeah. This guy, I, you have to wonder why he didn't have a gun. If I was rolling around with $570,000 in cash, I'd have a gun. Because, you know. I have to wonder, like, why is he moving it all at once? Is, is it that uh, important to move it all at once? Because that is, like, like, imagine, like, yeah, you do get caught up in a situation like this, you know? That well, he's coming it, from California, where all the yeah. and dealers typically enter. So he may be doing a run for somebody. Fair enough. And if you're crossing state lines, it's not a good idea to have a weapon with you. There's all kinds of issues with that, too. Uh, thank you, Fair next enough. six minutes for the $2. I just woke up and can't get back to sleep. Turn on the internet. and Polly and Farr streaming on Noir Bar, along with Becca. Uh, okay. okay, that's cool. How is everyone? Anyhow, going to listen for a while and then try and get some more sleep. I work later. Saturday sucks. Have a good weekend, y'all. Yeah, I got a fuck ton of work to do tomorrow, so we'll be doing a super long stream. But, uh, yeah, fun nonetheless. What was the other? Oh, yeah, your boy Pat came in. Hey, what's up, Pat? Hey, hey Pat. Fuck, uh... Zach Osborne. Is that who I wanted to see? This? Yeah. All of my 45 hollow points look like the big dog bowls. You know the kind? The unspillable kind? Yeah, I know. That's the great thing about 45 hollow point bullets. You can just set one up right on your table and use it as a fucking ashtray. <laughs> Critically endangered black rhinoceros calf makes public debut at Dubo's Western Plains Zoo before somebody shoots it dead. <laughs> added that last line i did i really did <laughs> they're totally endangered but uh if you ever wanted to uh help white out wipe out the rhinoceroses well here's your chance just seven do you weeks want to only. wipe out nature's unicorns well here you go hey they're tasty with the right sauce I, uh, put a little huh. branston's pickle on that and you're good to go <laughs> <laughs> I'll take yeah, for it. good thing. <laughs> I mean, they, they make great shoe leather, and uh, th those horns sell on the Chinese traditional medicine market really well. And yeah, you know how much money oh, that little fucker's worth? Uh, more than I'll ever make in my entire life. Probably. Me too. That's depressing. Yeah, I mean that that rhinoceros horn. That's like uh, for virility and and the like. We got, uh -huh, uh -huh, got a bunch of uh, old Chinese guys or uh, easily duped uh, morons buying rhinoceros horn because they got erectile dysfunction. How much you could sell mm -hmm. that for? And, and not not able to get uh, their wives pregnant because they're going in the wrong hole and not realizing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he says, Polly, that stop. All right, fine. But speaking of <laughs> fake medicine... Hey, fella, do you like Kern's bread? Ooh, well, gee, I, yeah, don't, I don't know. know. I guess. Boom! Muppet you chunks. You gotta be positive. You gotta be positive. Witsy, I'm assuming, W-I-T-Z-E, 
Thank you for the ten dollars. Finally catching you live. Good morning from the Netherlands. Well, good morning to you, Dutchman. Good morning. That's awesome. I love that we're global. <laughs> so the beauty of the time machine is that it's not limited geographically, just temporally. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. That's fine. No, oh, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate that. Oh, so the uh, story we were talking about fake medicine. Uh, homeopathy medicine, not a substitute for oxygen when treating COVID-19 patients. Experts say they need well, it. They, no shit. Yeah. They got some experts to tell them that. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Is there, uh, you really need expert to tell you that homeopathy is uh, <laughs> fucking bullshit. Right. <laughs> An extremely diluted glass of water? Mostly water? Yeah, right? Is it going to help you? Really? Are you sure? Right? It sounds legitimate to me. <laughs> the less of the active fucking... ingredient, the stronger it is. Oh, fucking homeopathy. <laughs> Multiple posts shared thousands of times on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram claim that hom homeopathy medicine could substitute for oxygen therapy when treating severely ill COVID-19 patients. The Please don't do this. Don't do Please this. Please don't do this. No. Like, holy fuck. The claim is false, according to health experts. <laughs> uh-huh. Those... So who was spreading it? Like, the essential oils groups on oh. Facebook? Probably. Honestly, that's probably it. <laughs> oh, I but love some this. Some fucking, like, MLM mom just going like, Yeah, if you water down this... Like this little bit of bleach, so it's nothing in the water. It will solve everything. That makes you sick. <laughs> you, you won't need to breathe anymore. You won't need to eat. You can just live off sunshine and oxygen like a plant. Maybe. <sighs> like fucking hell. The Hindi language text superimposed on the bottom of the image translates into English as if the oxygen level is falling in COVID-19, then don't wait for the oxygen cylinders. Add a drop of Aspiodesperma Q20 in a cup of water and drink it to maintain oxygen levels immediately, which remains stable forever. This is homeopathic uh -huh. medicine. Don't waste time in searching for oxygen. <laughs> I've never heard a more polite way of saying just stop breathing. <laughs> <laughs> just stop breathing, fucker. Just stop searching for oxygen. Wow, it's pretty rough. Make sure you use your plastic bags as face coverings as well. I heard those work. Yeah, so what the fuck is the aspi... Whatever the fuck that was. Aspiodosperma. Is a homeopathy medicine sold in India. The product is listed here on this website. The listing claims it is used for treating disorders associated with the respiratory system. Highly beneficial for people suffering from asthma and influenza. It helps relieving congestion in the chest and prevents frequent coughing. Okay. But what is it? But what is it? Like, <laughs> what's actually in it? Dr. Wilmar Schwabi, Indio Astrop. Perma mother tincture. Q. Uh, a, a key ingredient. Aspirant. <laughs> it just repeats like what the fuck the title is. What the fuck is this shit? I I forget how to pronounce this, but I looked it up. The the tincture. You. It's tincture. Tincture. Yeah. It a tea. Sort of like an infusion. An, an uh, item, I yeah, I forget where I was I... looking that up. Oh, I know. Uh, what you call it? Um, CBD is available in that form as well. That's why I was looking up. It was like a CBD tincture, and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" Bleach. <sighs> Free shipping and five dollars I... cash back with a care plan. They care. Oh hell yeah! Yeah. Do not exceed the recommended dosage. Use under medical supervision. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. what doctor is, is, is like saying, hey, use this shit. And not only does it do all these things related to the respiratory system, like asthma, coughing, breathing, it can also be used to boost the libido and promoting healthy sex drive. <laughs> oh, it oh, does it well, all. That's good to know. Yeah. 
It's only uh, that, that's the, fantastic, guys. The total price is only four hundred and seventy-four squigglies. Yeah, I looked at the key ingredient. <laughs> it's tree bark. Is it? Yeah. Really. Lovely. Tree bark. So they use it for asthma, cough, and common cold and other conditions, but there is no good scientific research to support these uses. Ha! Huh. Yeah. And that's from WebMD, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. But I I'd be willing to trust WebMD over this shit, you know? <laughs> right? That is... Like, yeah, that WebMD is might be trying to tell you... you like, every single one of these symptoms is leading to fucking cancer, but I'd still be willing to trust that over this. Right. Alright, so tree bark um, replaces oxygen, according to this. Huh. Okay. Owl drops down couple's chimney two days in a row, summoning them to Hogwarts. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I added the last oh. part. This bird came to sit on the mantelpiece after being released from the Houth and Southport the previous day. I mean, just keep it, man. Just keep it. It yeah, looks cool. That's your pet out now. <laughs> Why would you kick it out? I'd keep it. It's... I mean, it obviously wants to be there. <laughs> <laughs> An owl rescued after falling down a chimney in Southport, only to return to the same place the following day. Clearly, they want you to be a magician, or he just really likes the mantle. Either way, keep the owl, man. Right? I like the judgmental look it has. Like, why, why'd you kick me out? <laughs> right? Why would you do that hey. to me? Hey, do you have a problem with me? Right. What you I do, we buddy? Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on. Don't, don't, don't you want me here? I think that's I fucking great. I, I mean, you'd think it's, you know, when people come into your home, they're like, oh, that's a great stuffed owl. Oh, he's not stuffed. He just won't move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, just... <laughs> he just lives here now. <laughs> I love that story oh, so much. I'm like, that's great. It's... <laughs> yeah, so, so is it still there? <laughs> yeah, like... I mean, it's, I wouldn't kick it out. I really wouldn't. Uh, yeah. uh, I was going to try and let him out of the room myself, but my wife got worried that the bird could injure me. Well, they're mean bastards and they're... they're... Yeah, yeah, now. Talons are like, sharp as fuck, like and their fucking... beaks are. Yeah. yeah. They can fuck you up. I mean, it'd be a great pet if it was friendly, but if it's not friendly, yeah, it'll fuck you up. Uh, he must have yeah. really enjoyed the stay the first time around and clearly had a hoot. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha. Ooh. And what I like is that he's just the right size for the mantle. You know, he's not too big, right? not too small. He just fits it's right a there. Perfect fit. <laughs> Owls are so cool. I wish they weren't so vicious. <laughs> right. I mean, right. I'd like a pet owl, but they're they're they're. You, you can get pet owls. Yeah, but they're you know. Have you ever seen like videos of people with their pet owls? Yeah, they have to. They're they're always very very careful petting them in case they like freak out. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I personally like how they have like the leash for them, right? But it's around the leg. Right. Yeah. I'm just taking the owl for a walk. Don't worry. Yeah. Unlike this guy, you know, you don't need no leash. You can't get him to go away. Yeah, right? He wouldn't survive around my place. We used to have an <laughs> owl that would sit on the fence every night, and then after about a month, I found it headless on my front doorstep. Oh, Jesus. The cat got a hold of it, so. Really? Oh, God. Yeah. I didn't He's think cats were stealthy enough for owls. owls. Damn. Oh, I have a killer cat. She's amazing. We had a hawk hanging around for a while. I was like, ah, the cat's gonna be gone. <laughs> no. That thing ended up on the doorstep too. I was like, I, how'd you get the fucking hawk? How? How? Well, she's badass at hunting, I guess. Yeah, Ebony says, yeah. it could, you know, just keep it. It could be your new familiar. Yeah, can you imagine how many? Yeah. Uh, Wiccan emo girls around the world are reading this and going, oh, why can't an owl visit me? <laughs> right? I got a lot of cool owl, buddy. <laughs> uh, here we go. 
Jeopardy, uh, Jeopardy former contestants demand apology for participants' white power hand sign. Uh, oh, wow. He had so just ridiculous. won his third time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what he's doing there. He's like, three, baby. And I love the way this story begins so much. Thank you, Deadline.com, you fraudulent bastards. A group of 467 alleged former Jeopardy prote- participants. You didn't even check. They're probably not. And you yeah. knew it. Just a bunch of people got angry. And it's a fucking 4chan thing. You morons. I. Uh-huh. Yeah. You're giving it's it power. Cute. It's just the guy saying I won three fucking times, motherfuckers. And I'd be happy too. So he used the, the more European way or whatever the fuck of, of doing three instead of using your pointer finger ring finger middle finger I, fucking hell i but i i, I do love what the uh, the open letter says uh, a couple of years ago a contestant unintentionally wagered a monetary amount that used a numerical value co-opted by white supremacist groups okay. he so bid this 14 wasn't even recently no, no, I just, since the total didn't affect the outcome of the game, Jeopardy digitally altered the numbers in the version it aired, the letter claimed. This should have been done in this case. Intentional or not, the burden is on the production team to catch the similarity to a hate symbol and make sure it didn't end up on air. Intentional or not, you should be digitally altering video, regardless of anything. Just to get rid of this because some morons think that that's about white power. This this is 1984, y'all. This was literally Winston's job in 1984 to memory hole shit and alter shit so it was consistent with the party line. Welcome to Hell World, everyone. They're actually saying that. Like, they they should digitally edit edit it, intentional or not. Mm Mm-hmm. Fuck. Just what the fuck, guys? And I heard that the person that picked this off is somebody on Twitter that has like 20 followers and then started it there and it just kind of steamrolled into this huge ordeal. So it was a nobody on Twitter. That's why I think that's why they're saying alleged former Jeopardy contestants. Because uh, they, did you? Because I know. Did you okay. even check? Right. No, they probably did. But yeah, I, because I, it's it's not like journalists ever leave their desk anymore. Like I, the idealized notion of the journalist as a almost gumshoeing around town, knocking on doors, asking questions. I mean, they don't ever fucking leave their chair. If you know what I mean. If I can't find the answer right. on Google. Even then, that's a lot of typing. I don't think I'm going to do it. I... I've noticed a, a lot of these writers are taking from other articles and then just kind of twisting and turning sentences to try to make it their own. So they're just relying on other people's work, content to do their job. Yeah. yeah. Donahue claims he was indicating that he had won three games. Did he? Yeah. Well, then he is 100% like, this is not plausible deniability. This is the depth of embarrassment anybody who said this seriously should feel, should, you know, start rethinking life decisions. What brought me to this place where I can actually think these things and say them out loud? It's like your boy Pat says, one of the people that complained, bragged about it on Twitter. I have no doubt of that, Mm -hmm. Pat. I have no doubt. That they, you know, oh, I'm going to get all the likes. And, uh, ugh. Mm-hmm. Remember when Thanks, people did Florida things for 15 minutes of fame and there was money associated with it? Like, fame usually came with, like, like money reward. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. N- now, just, uh, why, why are people willing to sell out for so cheap? Do you know what I mean? I, yeah. Th- they're not even getting money off of it. They're just... Attention. Just attention. The drug. That's enough. Yeah, it is. Fucking sad. I thought I'd... Uh, oh, there's the Black Talon bullets we're talking about. Oh my god. Cop killers. <laughs> 
Yeah, oh see, see what I mean? God. Like the, the the petals that as they fold over have sort of like a rounded top to them. Yeah, these bullets are still sold. Mm -hmm. I hmm. just right. w without the coating on them. Yeah, great. Like Black Dog says, internet PP. Oh, Duck Dog, sorry, says internet PP touches. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, yeah. That's how sad it's gotten. It, this kind of crap is what can bring you fame. I've talked about it a lot. The economy of outrage is at a complete imbalance. The supply of Nazis is far too low, considering the demand. Mm -hmm. There aren't enough Nazis to go around. So they're starting to look at like really sharp guys that can win Jeopardy three times. Going, I bet Tariq Nasheed is right. He's a suspect white supremacist. I... Meanwhile, I our professional Nasheed. athletes do the same symbol. Mm. And they get three pointers and stuff, but can't mention that. Actually, I was watching a Hebrew Israelite video the other day. <laughs> oh God, I was. And well, the guys reading. Or the Bible, like talking about, like you know how we African Americans, West uh, of, of West African extraction, are the true Hebrews. He's doing the white power symbol, like the OK symbol, but just as a gesture while he's talking, like you know, like uh, where someone would you know put those two fingers together. And here it says very clearly that, and he's you know going up and down with his hand while he's doing it, and I couldn't help but giggle myself oh. stupid because it, you know. An idiot would say, oh, he's doing the white power symbol. Now, obviously, the black Hebrew Israelite is not doing the white power symbol. But that's why for, the 410, 4chan joke is funny because everybody ends up doing that because it's just putting the pads of your thumb and pointer finger together. People yeah. can end up doing that all the fucking time. I love it. <laughs> Being a cops with hard jobs. Naked man wrestles officers after disturbance call at Little Rock Hotel. Uh, what? <laughs> all right i all right you, 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 it's one thing when they steal your car it's another thing when you gotta wrestle naked people right? <laughs> awkward yeah i this is a really weird upset of cough rock folly <laughs> <laughs> Officers were called at 6.15 a.m. to the Ramada Inn at Shackleford Drive. They confronted a 38-year-old man who was naked and reportedly carrying a gun. I would love to think that he had, like, a belt and a holster, too, but naked. <laughs> That's the only articles of clothing he's wearing. Officers grabbed the man after he tried to jump over the counter. What counter? What? what so he was time? behind, like the, like, the lobby counter? Like the reception table? Like... <laughs> yeah, the check-in counter or something. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. All right. Officers reportedly spoke to a woman who said she was dating the man. She said he showed up at her hotel room and started behaving strangely. He reportedly yelled about his children, grabbed a revolver, and fired. Guests in another room told the police they heard three shots. <laughs> Holy man... The man was charged with resisting arrest, negligent discharge of a firearm, and third-degree battery. Okay, dude. Um, so, uh... I... Uh, when yeah, did the I got nothing. Well, see, just... What the fuck? Th there's this... This... This narrative is missing something. Oh, yeah, it absolutely is. When, when, when did the nudity happen? When did the battery yeah. happen? <laughs> Right? Oh, I, I don't know what constitutes third degree battery in Arkansas. Like, I'm gonna look it up. You actually have to assault is the threat, battery is the actual, you know, uh, yeah, striking of the person, right? So, yeah, assault I, is verbal. Okay, so third somebody was actually physical. hit at some point. Can firing a gun in someone's general direction count as battery? Okay. I don't, I don't know. Usually, if it's a, if he fought the cops, it wouldn't be battery it would just be so, so did he beat up the woman then there's so much missing from this narrative yeah there is a lot missing. this is this is two sentences and it's the whole part of the story that we tuned in for and it's you know yeah like this is like what what happened like think about it the story goes uh woman talks to cops 
about man she was dating. Naked man arrested for firing a gun. It's like, whoa, wait, hold on. How did yeah. we how did and we get to there from here? <laughs> he also apparently has kids. Yeah. So it's like there's so much missing. And at some point there was a counter involved. Was he in the main lobby? Was it the counter of the kitchenette inside the Ramada Inn hotel room? You guys, yeah. this, who wrote this? Susan Carroll or Scott Carroll. Uh, Scott Carroll. Scott Carroll. Fix your shit. Straighten up, man. <laughs> Come on, dude. You're, 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 there has to be more than that. If that's all they told you, you should have said, you know, done your journalist thing and said, come on, man, I'm going to need a little bit more. I can't write that. No one will understand. Yeah. I don't understand. But... Uh, okay, so according to Arkansas, battery in the third degree is the purpose or the person purposely causes unconsciousness or physical or mental impairment or injury to another person. By giving them, wait, hold on, don't tell me. By administering to the other person without the other person's consent any drug or other substance, the class A misdemeanor. Okay. All so, right. the um, and that's in the third degree. Yes. What? It said mental distress. So, like, would that? Yelling? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Wait, yelling and brandishing a firearm and firing it would count under the mental aspect? I don't know. I'm trying to figure um, it out. Maybe. Yeah, I, I guess. Yelling about the children, like, hey, he has kids or something. Like, what the fuck? Bitching about his kids. Yeah. Firing the guy. I, I don't know. There's something new in Arkansas every day, I guess. Yeah. Do we want? What do we yes. want to do next? Absent. Homeopathy. What's that? Hold on. You guys don't need to see. <laughs> stare at the bar. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we already talked about the owl. Talked about the Jeopardy. Obviously not racist man. Mm hmm. Um. For everyone who's paying attention. Yeah, the police chief who was buying and selling all the guns from the Jesus. Yeah, including <laughs> opium. <clears throat> yeah, it's it, it's the uh, it's bad lieutenant with Harvey Keitel come to life, stealing drugs, stealing guns, selling them like motherfuck, really. <laughs> hey, who wants to see a bear fall out of a tree? Uh, all right, let's see it. Here we go. We have video. Oh yay into a rescue top well okay yes but barely that's sorry for the um, pun um so the, the bear the bear's up in the tree right yeah okay and they've they, they, they've all got the rescue tarp like in old movies where uh -huh. the firemen would stand around to catch the people jumping out of the burning building <laughs> you know they shoot a tranquilizer at it That's well see this I... is what i mean if you want to drop a bear out of a tree listen i'll just bring my rifle you don't need to go through all this trouble and get there <laughs> like, when it fall okay it's getting close to fall watch it i swear Sorry. they don't do a very good job of catching it because it's kind of a heavy bear yeah i don't think the people were uh, boom like it oh, hit the ground oh. <laughs> like let's watch it, it totally hit the ground oh, that did <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that hit the ground. Oh. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> bear. Don't ever oh, tree a bear. Shit. That's when they're most dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more time. He so hit the ground. It's just <laughs> yeah. He absolutely like. There's no way. There is no fucking way he did not hit the ground. <laughs> it's All right. 170,000. Uh, right. We already talked about a way to make money off of baby rhinoceroses. Uh -huh. um, Nature's unicorn? Y y yes. Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <clears throat> Far sent this story. I totally forgot about it uh -huh. until I was going through it. It's South Australian <laughs> man arrested over allegedly placing fake QR codes on official COVID 19 check ins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking guy so, 
<laughs> so, uh, context, if no one knows that's not Australian, uh, we do have these things where you're supposed to check in, right? So they can trace um, if there's an incident, right? So, you know, you can get that happy little call of like, hey, yeah, you might have been in a vicinity of someone with COVID-19. Isn't that great? And I say supposed to, because it's like, you can either scan a QR code for an app on your phone, which I refuse to fucking download, because that's mm -hmm. fucking... No, just no. Just no. Or you can write down your details on the sheet. I usually try to avoid it if I can. Because, uh... No. I don't want to be tracked. Fuck you, government. <laughs> it's my S business to find JB Hi-Fi that day. Safe Not yours. space check-in. 51-year-old man from Edwardstown was arrested and charged with possessing a prohibited weapon. Oh, great. What is that? Oh. What's the weapon? A knife. Uh, what are we, England? Yeah. This... <laughs> what the hell? The same a man has also been... A double-sided knife. Yeah. The, it, possessing a prohibited weapon after officers searched the man's home and allegedly found a double-sided knife. For Christ's sake, he didn't even have it on him. I... Oh, my God. So you had to go into his house to even find anything. Oh, my God. South Australian police said they went to Edwardstown's... <clears throat> excuse me, an Edwardtown address on Wednesday after it received allegations of fake QR codes were stuck on official business QR codes at South Limpton, south of Adelaide on Sunday. Adelaide. Adelaide. Police Adelaide. from the COVID... I love it. Police from the COVID compliance section. Oh my God. <laughs> That's real? <laughs> that doesn't... <laughs> They're a subsidiary of the Ministry of Truth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is this just a, like a South Australian thing? No, I well, I mean, oh my, those officers oh are from God. South Australian police. I don't know if that that's a <clears throat> excuse me, continent countrywide thing, though. Jesus. Yeah, like what the fuck? If that's a countrywide thing, then what the fuck? <laughs> police said anyone found tampering with or obstructing business QR codes would likely face arrest and a penalty of ten thousand dollars. Wow. Okay. The magistrate granted bail on condition that Mr. Davies did not carry any loose QR labels and did not visit the two businesses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no more QR codes know, like, for you, Mr. Davies. <laughs> right? I just want to know, like, what, what gave him the idea to do that? I, it's a scary notion to begin with, right? So, you, you know, everyone's got to have a smartphone. And what you got to do to yeah. enter this building <clears throat> is prove you've been vaccinated or that you haven't been uh, non-compliant with previous COVID restrictions. So, you know, the phone is registered to you and only you, and you got a fingerprint on the phone and then scan in to be able to enter the, the, safe, the COVID safe space. That's the nightmare future I envision. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I just don't like the idea of, like, a government-made app. Which is what it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Like, it's made by the government. You download it onto your phone. You put in all your details. And for what? So they can contact you if someone, like, also happens to put their details in and says, Hey, I got COVID. Yeah, there's a university somewhere in the States that has a similar app. And they expect their students to log it. Actually, they're, they're mandatory. They have to log in, create an account, and then they have to put every place they go within a five-mile radius of the university. Fuck. And they claim it's for contact tracing. Uh-huh. Yeah. I want to say it like, was I, Like, I understand, like, why, like, they want to do the contact tracing, right? But at the same time, it's like... I just don't think it's a good idea on mm -hmm. any level. Because, okay. It's just like, no, no. You don't need to know where I've been. Fuck off. Yeah. Leave me alone. 
Thank you again, Evolve Potato, for posting all of our links and chats. Greatly appreciated. Uh, it actually is. Oh, here's a fun one. Oh, God. They. This new ant species may be the first to get a gender-neutral name. Why? Yes, why? <laughs> why? Ants have feelings? I, okay. well, I, just, I mean, I, you know, I hear this thing a lot, right? Where it's like, no, STEM. STEM's pure. Social sciences are the problem. Oh, yeah, it's not everywhere. He, you want to really get worried? Type in um, whiteness and mathematics or decolonizing math or anything to that mm. effect. It's all over the fucking place. STEM is not pure. It never has been. There, there was no point no. when it wasn't ideologically pushed. Like, everything gets ideologically pushed. Giving up the social sciences, which include things like history and psychology, important fields, to the SJWs and say, like, oh, well, it's, well, it's too late. You know, they've taken over those fields. No, no, don't let them have it. Fuck that. Take it yeah, back. Take I mean, your, 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 your friend, your family member, whoever is having psychological problems and the field that will be in charge of their care and responsible for their possible involuntary incarceration or what type of medical treatment that they will be receiving has been taken over by a bunch of Anita Sarkeesian think-alikes. I mean, that should frighten the fuck out of everyone. It's always like, oh, no, there's certain fields that are pure and everything else is just, just gone. No, don't let them have it. And don't pretend that fucking there's some fields that can't be taken over by them. They're locusts, man. They just eat everything until it's fucking destroyed and then move on. I... To, to get ADHD meds here, right, you need to go see a psych once, like, just every so often, right? Like, psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. That's a terrifying thought. Like, like my medication could be locked away from me just because of some, like some bitch is just like, oh, yeah, you don't meet the standards anymore. You're not, you're not a, uh, yeah, or what, whatever the fuck, it, that bullshit excuse they'd use. You know, like, that's kind of scary because I kind of need that that medication. <laughs> and download the QR government app. Right? Meds. Right? I didn't download the fucking government tracer app. <laughs> Say bye-bye to Medicaid and Fa. Thank you, Anthea Chan, for these key points. So, And the key points are there for other news entertainers to be able to blah, 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 very, very quickly. Uh -huh. You know? Researchers yeah. discovered the new ant species in Ecuador. They gave it the struminous blah, 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 notably using the suffix they. It may be the only species in the world to currently have they as a suffix. Singer from the band R.E.M., Michael Stipe, also played a role in the study. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How? I, so here it right. is. Uh, as such, right. uh, now identifies new species, the ant was given the rather special name. Typically, the new species are named after people and end with either AE for females or I for males. Pensoff Publishers explained in a blog. However, citing the previous study, the authors clarified that the rule does not need does not specify the need to Latinize the names. Therefore, no need to assign gender. As such, they are given the reddish brown. Uh, they gave the reddish brown ant the name. Stermogenesis Asser they, notably ending it with they for gender equality. Uh huh. I see, I see. <sighs> These ants are going to change the whole world. Mm -hmm. The they, and this is. This is the researchers write, writing this now, quote, many cultures have recognized a spectrum of genders between and beyond the binary of male no, and female. Not. The they recognizes non-binary gender identifiers in order to reflect recent evolution in English pronoun use. They, them, there, and address a more inclusive and expansive understanding of non-neutral gender identification. Oh, I want to vomit. The name also honors Jeremy Ayers, who Yale University described as a philosopher, multimedia artist, and political activist. He worked with Andy Warhol. <laughs> Fuck of me. Of course. I... 
didn't read this article before. I just read the the the. the I just. Yeah, this just gets worse and weirder in many different ways. So many different ways. His curiosity for every single person he ever met was the foundation of a fascinating and cross-cultural network of friends, acquaintances, and colleagues, often with Jeremy at the very center of several overlapping colonies, Stipe said, as per the Yale University news release. The fucking ants! The story's about the fucking ants! What are you... Yeah, like... Ants, guys! Look, it's under the Marcus. science header. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah, this is science... Science, bitch. Ants are they now. <laughs> like Andy Warhol and friends. I don't know. Like, like, for fuck's sake. I, I do get it that Latin has a, is an engendered language in that sense in the way that, that French is, in the way that Spanish is. Yeah, I want you sake. people of this particular um, mindset to insist that every Spanish and French speaker, every language speaker in the world that has a gendered language to forcibly change the way that they speak. You know my theory, Far. More, more, more. It's not enough mm -hmm. just to name yeah. it. I want more, 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 because the, the going full retard is what's going to make this stuff collapse in on itself. So yeah, go ahead and tell all of South America, with the exception of Brazil, <laughs> that they need to change the way that they talk. Wait a minute, Portuguese is a gendered language. Was, yeah, so it's all South America. Yeah, just... You know, I've started seeing, like, even people from Spanish-speaking countries... I don't know why this comes across... The Tinks. ...on my Twitter, right? I guess it's the, um... A, a bunch of the art people I follow, right? There's some of them that are even falling into the trap of, like, the... Like, they, them shit. And it's like, how are you guys falling into this? You guys come from a language where, like, everything is gendered. Right. How the hell are you guys doing? What the hell? So I don't even know if, um, if, if telling a bunch of, like, Spanish-speaking countries or whatever the fuck, like, gendered, like, gendered language countries, like, uh -huh. yeah, you gotta make it all gendered. I don't even know if that would fix it. Oh, and not yeah. just that alone. That and a thousand other things. Uh, yeah. You know, more, more, more across the board to be like, oh, fuck, enough, 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 enough. Is, there isn't a single story that you go to. Uh, I forget which one. Oh, it was the um, the one about the guy with the um, white power symbol on Jeopardy, that one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Read the comments section, there are 168 comments underneath it. And as I was scrolling through it, it was some people saying, this is absolutely the right thing to do because there's a hate and white supremacy is the greatest threat to the blah, blah, blah. And then everyone else is like, oh my God, I am so sick of hearing about this shit. And it's like, yeah, good. <laughs> it just, good. Yes. Uh, okay, Far, what, what is oh, this? Oh yeah, this What one. is this? So I might have typed in like cult websites into .go uh -huh. just to see what comes up. Sure. I got a, um, a ranker.com thing uh-huh they came up as like okay let's have a look here and this one i just it just um it stood out to me because for several reasons uh here's the about this cult thing on it uh the destiny group came about in the mid 2000s okay in south africa Ooh. from founder bernard pullman uh -huh. a self-proclaimed exorcist and spiritualist Ooh. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Who claimed? Who claimed to have met both Jesus and Adolf Hitler, and sold <laughs> self-help books and education software? Like that is a hell of a. <laughs> well. Yeah. Uh, Pullman passed in 2013. Uh huh. But his New Age cult lives on. Uh, one of Destiny's more vocal members is Sunnet Sp Sunnet Spies? Or Spies? Spies? Whatever the fuck. Uh, Spies has a YouTube presence. So there's YouTube videos. Yeah, there, there, uh, there they all are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she explained she was gifted with the talent of por portaling. Meaning she has the ability to communicate with spirits. Like Hitler and Jesus. Some 
Some of the people Spies claims to have spoken with include Adolf Hitler, oh. Marilyn Monroe, and Kurt Cobain. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Destiny website has a very clean look. It includes a forum section where you can join the discussion with members, an About Us page, it does have a resources, forum a shop, and the ever important donation page. <laughs> <laughs> The very important. The yeah, it is so important. It's a disteni <laughs> oneness and equality. It says, "Hold on, why is it not showing?" It? There we go. Yeah, there we are. Uh, oneness and equality about us. Uh, the message, understanding, and the tools, historical timeline of disteni, the disteni of living, declaration of principles. Just this is starting to sound like Anisian's. Um, yeah, it, it kind of does in certain aspects. Uh, the um, oh, fuck. What did he call it? Yeah, the. Is that about changing his name know, to that for a while? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The uh. Shit! What the fuck did he call his religion? Yeah, what, what the fuck was it? Yeah, it was. It was something really fucking dumb. Of course it was. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, it's Onision, right? Right. Uh. Oh fuck! It was right there. I just want to say it's AstraZeneca. No, that's not it. Um. Yeah, it's not AstraZeneca. Um. Oh my god, content. Well, far yeah. and I wreck our yeah, brains. Right? Fucking out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just. It's Sisseska! Yeah. It's... <laughs> yeah, it's fucking Sisseska. All right, let's see what they got for sale. Because that's the real question, isn't it? Yeah, right? Like, what are you selling? Oh Every god. question hits it for everyone. What? Ex Ex ghosts and paranormal addiction. Uh, what's the one with the hands? Like, I, I really, I really like this. <laughs> oh shit but yeah what's the first one with like the woman and she has all the like just four hands oh yeah mind consciousness, mind system. consciousness system all right the mind afterlife solutions sex solution. and relationships addiction addiction health and body health and body parrot ownership oh animals and nature uh, <laughs> spirituality existential history Parenting. Parenting. Money. Fuck yeah. The money. What, what do we want to dive into? Dynasty history? Oh, God. I mean, that's a pretty tempting kinda, image right there. Let's... Yeah, I kind of want to see what the hell is going on with that. Oh, how? And this is so oh, like with pounds? pounds? Yeah, it's in pounds. Why is it selling for pounds? Maybe it's my uh, VPN that's making it come up Oh, maybe pounds. it is. Uh, one minute. Let me... I'll bring it oh up god, they've got that work. stupid eagle face on uh there it is. Oh my god, yeah, there it is. Let's start at the beginning. A good place. <laughs> Topics yeah. of discussion include, but are not limited to, his experience with spirituality, deep trance mediumship, angels and demons, aliens and reptilians, the white light, the hierarchy of heaven, historical figures coming through the portal of God, the Bible, devil and Satan, money, the future, the soul construct, the power of self-forgiveness and self-honesty. Oh. Ah. All that for 20 pounds? What a deal! Right. Fucking right. It, but uh, I just looked at it then on my screen. Uh, no, it's just in pounds. Okay. For no reason. Like, I mean, it should be coming up as Australian dollar dues for me, but it's not. So I guess they're just uh, operating in pounds. For some reason. Uh, uh, very cool, Destiny. Can't go back. Destiny Process Pro. Uh, oh. Oh. What the fuck? People enjoy and recommend dip. Well, who wouldn't? Chip dip's great. So you got you got them from uh, the Netherlands, United States, Belgium, Germany. Yeah, you got a real variety there. <sighs> oh, God. Okay, what will dip do? With dip, you will become effective, precise, and consistent within your job or study. Build character, self-appreciation, confidence, expect... It's what every fucking... Just... Cult! It, it's yeah. what every cult offers. But does it actually deliver? Uh, uh, I want to know. Vagary. We offer vague good stuff. I... Mm hmm. We offer the good shit. 
I. Well, where's the fun shit? We know you. you, you we know Come you talked to fucking Kurt Cobain. What would he tell you? <laughs> what did Hitler tell you? And Jesus, as a matter of fact. Come right? on. Come on. Well, let's, let's let's check out. Tell the me forums. your secrets. Oh fuck the forums. This is gonna be great. Animal support. All parenting, right. Support, Body support. support? <laughs> Addiction support. Dream discussion. Oh, what's happening in dream discussions? Re an interesting dream. What was dream? Oh, oh, wait a minute. It's way off the screen here for shifting. everybody here. Yeah, I actually have shape shifting listed in there. I. Oh my god. Yeah, they don't seem to uh, talk very often on this one. Lack of money in dream. I. Why do you need money in a dream? What does multiple layer dream mean? <laughs> it means you need to work uh, on your you English. Are you an inception? Yeah. Childhood nightmares, child's play, Chucky. Uh, Running out of oil. My... <laughs> 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 Why are they running out of oil? Running out of oil is another way of explaining the entire depletion and extinction of the fuels that keep us... What? That keep this entire reality running as the world system that we have made ourselves dependent on in the form of fuels energy, which is using the Earth's resources to maintain our electric bubble. All of this is done and established with a single acceptance, allowance of separation from ourselves to exist as energy, mind, consciousness systems, as thoughts, feelings, and emotions that generate experiences that we have called life. Wow. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. whatever you say, Anision. This is just all right. It's just um, it's just generalized feel good crap. We feel, think, so, and get emotional to create the same oil as the energy that the mind requires to keep functioning. And in that, we are certainly no different from our entire economic system that is currently going dry, which is how consciousness works well. Uh so where's the dream come into it? If you have a dream about not having any oil? Who dreams? You know what? Never mind. I was like, I was about to say, like, who dreams about not having any oil? But then it's like, people, like, living in, like, the Middle East. Is that, like, their worst nightmare? Like, oh, I thought we ran, our country ran out of oil. <laughs> Unanswered <laughs> questions. That'd be good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the Uyghur situation. Yeah, don't ask questions about that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Self-esteem, it all caps. Zero replies, but it's been viewed over oh, times. Osho and uh, others through the portal. Corona through the portal. How to move through resistance. Move through resistance. What? Oh my gosh. Coronavirus through the portal, sharing his story. All right. All right. Hey, Kim Amaret. Wait. Uh, Wait. Is this is this someone channeling the coronavirus? Wait, did you see the date? Is that twenty one or twenty eleven? Twenty twenty. Uh. Oh my god! It's blurred on my I side. Oh, actually, do something. I might be running at sixty FPS, which three or four. obviously doesn't. It's all good. Yeah. It's been fine this whole time, but for some reason it just blurred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just couldn't focus on um, channeling the coronavirus. There we know? go. <laughs> this is the fifth chat with coronavirus through the portal. Coronavirus sharing his story. My God, far you were right. <laughs> I called it, motherfucker. Oh He's channeling and talking to the personified coronavirus. I, oh my Susan God. spies CV through the portal. Now that the most important has shared the good and the bad towards me, lol. Cat smack too. Smack. I pay for your food, you, you brittle, brittle bone, bone fuck. Uh, every time you guys Yay. talk about cults, it makes me think I should start one of my own. Get lots of money and find crazy chicks that think I'm like a messenger from God, so they do whatever I say. I'm just way too lazy to put the effort in. <sighs> you don't want that, man. It seems like a good idea, but, you know. It, it's so much fucking work, though. Yeah, you know? no kidding. 
and just I don't know. I'd I'd like to think integrity would get in your way of all potato. Right. right? I mean, you'd hope. <sighs> Lol. I will share the good and bad towards myself and what I foresee the outcome will be in relation to me and why. I'll go through my story step by step, defining my initial existence and then to redefining my living existence and how I am creating with life in different forms, dimensions, realms within the starting point of equality and oneness and what's best for all. We'll start five after the hour. Gavin the Wong fuck? says, woohoo. Um, I think my brain cells just died then for a second. What the <laughs> fuck? Okay, so this is like a transcript of the entire conversation? Okay. Yeah. So Susan Spies is back after everyone saying hi, hello, hi. Hola, aloha. aloha. Okay. Good evening, all. The CV here and through the portal sharing me before the coronavirus here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, y'all. Coronavirus here. <laughs> For fuck's I, I, sake. I, I, I'm just taking a minute. Hold on. I'm just, I'm just taking a minute. I just... I don't blame you. I really cannot just, blame you. This is really I'm just fucking. Gonna mix tight. up my little bourbon on the rocks here. Just... All right, here we go. Good evening, all. The coronavirus here through the portal, sharing me. Before I continuing sh sh more in depth details in recording to Please come. Please stop sharing yourself, coronavirus. Yes, that's what got <laughs> us in this mess in the first place. And both Kurt and Anna say hi. Hi, Mister Coronavirus. And the Hi. coronavirus responds, however, in the meantime, do have a listen to Anu's recording in Journeys into the Afterlife in AQAFE, as well as two life review recordings in the self-specialization as additional wow. resource information for my recordings to come. Jesus Christ, the coronavirus is pitching their merch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> For fuck's sake. You know, there's this... several morons out there buying this. Like... Oh god, yeah, right? <laughs> like, there are people in this cult. Like, it's not as if it's an unknown thing, you know? Like, they're obviously, like, getting somewhere with this. Okay, so it's like, like if you bought the merch and a friend's fuck. like, where did you get that? And you're like, oh, I was in this forum and coronavirus pitched it to me. Right? At what point do you think, like, you get so into the into this shit, right? That you're just like, yeah, the coronavirus pitched this to me. And you think, like, that's a completely sane thing to tell someone. Right? Oh my God. Like, at what point do you cross that line? So the coronavirus continues. I'm going to give a few minutes to me sharing myself. From there, we'll leave the floor to some Q&As as much as time and space allows. So, uh -huh. coming into existence, I am less complex than most elite or elderly viruses, bacteria, and diseases. Uh, to which Matt's BP I, responds, less is more, it seems, lol. I, oh, jeez. Coronavirus continues. <laughs> The physical body uh -huh. of humanity has adapted its defense systems within the assumption of the continued onslaught of severe microorganisms attacking and infesting and evolving. So much so that the physical become preoccupied defending, protecting, and purifying the future generations to come from the worst of the worst. In neglected, it became distracted by underground elements that has gone unchecked, where even such a simple virus as myself can sift through all the defenses and millennia of protection systems into the core slash heart of the body's most vulnerable and weakest points. Anna responds, I... so you're saying that you get straight to the point? No. Uh... So... Anna says, awesome. Fuck? Love it. I in Don't fact... love... love the coronavirus. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? I infect the membrane tissue surrounding elements of the physical body. God, has anyone seen Fight Club? I am Jack's I... infected membrane tissues. Like, Jesus Christ, this is... <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, this it's answering is... questions directly. Yes, Carol, most of the soft tissues <laughs> in the body... Which are already weak and grossly due to the air you breathe, the general health of your body, the food you eat, etc. So, it's not so much that I, as the coronavirus, us affecting you, 
It's much similar to the demons when they possessed. They simple possessed parts of you already existent in you brought it out to the forefront. I... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Manic oh. Manic has a uh, has a really good one. Hi, I'm Coronavirus. Welcome to my TED talk. <laughs> but yeah, that's just what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, this is fucking TED talk for like, Coronavirus. Like, holy shit! Like, it's answering questions directly. It's like it's making jokes. It's just like, yes, I am a simple virus. Yeah. Like, holy fuck. Now, this is the coronavirus continuing. I'm not talking about becoming a health freak. That is, again, creating a polarity. But get to know the basics of your blood type, blood tests of what foods and nutrients support your body best, and exercise regime suits your body type the best. Common sense basic health additions. Uh -huh. <laughs> Common sense. <laughs> And you can buy books on common sense available in our merch shop now. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh shit, and this is This is fucking great. Someone's channeling yeah. the coronavirus. This is great. <laughs> yeah, and of all potato has a point. The coronavirus, well, you know, does not have good grammar. It is just a simple yeah, virus it, after all. Right. It is just a simple virus. And you expect it to have like good grammar? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you, what are you, virused? It knows about the internet? I, the coronavirus can, Ida, many resources on the internet with body shapes I, and types <laughs> and recommended exercises. Or just do what you naturally love and create your own exercise regime. Dance. Hear it, everyone? The coronavirus wants you to dance. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But not only does it know about the internet, though. It knows how to, like, you know, take care of the human body. It and not get sick. Oh man, it cusses too. Yeah. Because oh, the it? Boyadi was and is so busy focusing on so many other shit, it's processing oh, on your behalf due to your man. ignorance of a wartness within and as your own body. Yeah. Wow. Coronavirus is a uh, swears like I a think... sailor. Holy yeah. shit. I watched a Japanese medical show, one episode during 4 p.m., 100% each day. Humans HGH is highest in exercising during this hour and could generate a lot, if not most muscles. Or at 11 a.m., 70%. Coronavirus spawns. You will notice the recordings gifting applications to transition your process now to physical living self-awareness. What? What does any of that mean? I mean, it's so long this transcript look it just keeps going oh my god yeah how how long does this keep going for oh Holy he's look, look, the coronavirus is trying to help i am exposing already extant symptomatic weaknesses in humans bodies which would eventually in any way lead to an excruciating illness uh-huh fighting the good fight our responsibility uh, is now evermore talking knowledge into living application, living words. <laughs> yeah, the coronavirus is really just looking out for our best interest, you know. I... <laughs> Jesus Christ. In my recordings to come, I will, together with other beings, share the simulations we ran in the portal and how different humans responded to me and why and what you could do to learn from the experience affecting the world. <laughs> They're pulling humans into the portal and running experiments <laughs> on them. Oh my god. Holy shit. This is getting super fucking dark. <laughs> Some oh twisted shit. I love delicious and tasty, helpful vaccine. I'll take yours if you're not having it. Somebody said, Maddie said. I don't think vaccines are supposed to uh, have flavors. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Is that like, are they calling, are they selling vaccines? I. Well, the coronavirus response. Selling... 
Uh -huh. vaccines or some shit and that and that's like why it's like oh now you want a delicious vaccine i'll take yours if you're not having it what the no fuck? they're selling that shit from india that we were talking about <laughs> right? <laughs> right tree bark mm -mm, delicious tree bark ms says <laughs> interesting how the coronavirus is far more evolved than us he doesn't worry if he's vaccinated against he will adapt and evolve i oh what? my god what? Does that make sense? Why would the virus be <laughs> vaccinated against itself? Yeah, God. Coronavirus response, Michael, I'm not here to save the world. Even if a handful understands who I am and who you are within this all and become living examples sharing your history, the news and understanding will ripple in time for those who are already, who are ready to hear and see. We're all in a different location points in our processes uh-huh right that is so smart <laughs> right I, I love this look look it's been verified far i don't know of any 5g and me connection <laughs> you trying to set me up with a date <laughs> holy shit <laughs> Well, that's my OTP right there. Oh coronavirus God. and 5G. The coronavirus itself confirmed there is no connection to 5G. Oh, we heard shit. it from the horse's mouth. God damn it. <laughs> I love how Father Down even says, lol, no kidding. Seriously, what's with the 5G and me? <laughs> 5G is taken. I'm already dating them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, damn you, Maddie! I wanted 5G. <laughs> Man, can't catch you, Mike. For sake. I think it it responded with "It's a conspiracy theory." I uh fuck. Oh my god. But I could kiss you, virus. <laughs> 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 Whoops, that's not social distancing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, you know what? I think that uh, we should uh, come back to this rich, uh -oh, rich source of yes. comedy at a future point. Um, fuck yes. <laughs> See, wasn't this a great one? Yeah, no, that's it a was. great one. Wasn't this great? We also, the, the Ranker one you sent me here, these strange and dangerous cults maintain active websites you can visit right now from Jessica with a K Thomas. Yeah, there's Heaven's Gate, which yeah. I thought, nah. The Family International. But everyone knows about that. Realism. Yeah, which I think we've seen that. Uh, Twelve Tribes, which it's... I there's a fundamentally that Christian uh, end times cult founded in 1972 oh, by Gene Springs fun. in Chattanooga. Uh, you know... The Hebrew Israelites have all kinds of websites. Are they on here? No, I bet you they're not. No, they're not. And they no, be. they're not. But that's like... I can understand why, though. Because, like, you start fucking with them hardcore, it's like everyone oh, yeah. they will come after you. They, they will come after you and accuse you of uh, anti-Semitism because they're the real Hebrews, yep. don't you know? Yep. I, <laughs> that actually does bring us... Uh, I wanted to go two hours and we we're a little bit past the two-hour mark, so I think I am going all to... Right. Make it last call right now. Oh, one more oh. tip to the bartender. Thank you, Vol Potato, for the dollar. The virus's deny a connection to 5G proves it actually is connected. Kafka trap all the way. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> it's, it's, what else would you expect the coronavirus to say, huh? Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, I was we were connected all along. Mm -hmm. all right. You were right, Karens. <laughs> keep destroying those towers it's a uh, great thinking mm -hmm. <sighs> like i said uh, i want to thank everybody who came by to keep us uh, company and hang out with us tonight it was a lot of fun uh we will be open again soon i'm sure when we travel back to 1942 for fun and a chill late night drunken time i'd like to thank everybody who tipped the bartender that's me because it helps keep the bar open and i want to uh thank uh, far and becca uh, I want to thank them for keeping me company at the bar. It was greatly appreciated. You guys are a lot of fun to hang out with.
Well, I appreciate yeah. your invitation. I had fun. Well, you're welcome back anytime you'd like. Just, uh, yeah, stay in touch. And, okay. oh, uh, before we go, um, I don't have your link uh, to your channel. If you don't watch uh, Becca, just Becca, you should. It's a fun stream. I hang out there. I lurk all the time. Um, <laughs> I do. I listen in the background when other things are going on because I don't really have interesting things to say in chat, so I just kind of like lurk. Yeah. Uh, no, but it's a fun stream. So, uh, if Becca, if you can put your uh, link in chat, that would be appreciated. If I had thought of it beforehand, I can put it in um, the video description after we uh, go off here. And then, uh, mm -hmm. go buy some of our shit. Buy our shit. Yeah, buy my shit. Yeah, it's actual quality merchandise, not uh, Desanti, dis dis Destani merch. Yeah, dis <laughs> whatever the fuck. Yeah. Uh, Destani. Destani. Yeah, and uh, of all potato just put awesome. up uh, all of those links. And your boy Pat's back to Resident Evil. Hey, careful of the nine foot tall bitches, man. It's, it's not what you think. <laughs> In any case, like I said, uh, it is last call. So, like we always say about this time, you don't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here. We'll see you next time, everyone. Thanks and goodbye. Bye. Bye, -bye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Uh, your boy Pat's right. Subscribe oh. to Psycho Rick. His channel's awesome.